good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about simple carburetor in the last class we have seen the introduction to the carburetion and how carburetion takes place and what are the parameters that are affecting the carburetion so this is about a simple carburetor see <coughs> first of all we should know and we should identify what are the parts involved in simple carburetor the float chamber and the float needle petrol line uh, which is connected to the petrol tank so petrol from the petrol tank vent and uh, nozzle induction pipe throttle valve and it is to the engine for example we have to maintain a certain level in the float chamber that means we have to maintain some, some certain amount of fuel level in the float chamber how come we maintain certain level all the time whenever we are using the fuel from the float chamber the level of the fuel in the float chamber it is reduced whenever the level is reduced this float is floating on the fuel so that means when the level is reduced the float will come down so automatically this needle is connected to the float so then that leads to when the float is move downward this needle also move downward so that means that itself open the you know intake uh, uh, or we can call it as some intake uh, pipe so that this pipe will open automatically the fuel from the petrol tank is entering once the level is reached to the desired level then float will move upward when float move upward the needle will go and you know close the uh, you know intake pipe so that the petrol from the petrol tank is stopped so that means that is the you know that is how the level is maintained all the time constant and the needle and that is the purpose of needle and float and this vent is provided at this point to maintain atmospheric pressure to maintain atmospheric pressure in the float chamber we 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 place some vent here and uh, this induction pipe this is induction pipe in the induction pipe the air is taken in that from the atmosphere and the air is flowing with high velocity when the air is going with high velocity here there is a low pressure is created because of this low pressure you know the fuel from the float chamber is entering so the moment it is coming out from the nozzle this fuel is taken by the high stream high stream you know well high velocity air stream and this fuel particles are mixed with the air and it is going with to the combustion chamber that is called engine and this is the working of a simple carburetor and we have to see the what are the points that we have to notice while we discuss about the simple carburetor the first point is useful when the engine running at constant speed that means uh, it cannot serve the variation of vari variety of speeds that means uh, if i fix this simple carburetor to the vehicle for transportation it cannot serve because this is for constant speed it cannot give variety of speeds right and the level of this is very important the level of nozzle in the induction pipe should be 1 to 2 mm above the level of fuel in the float chamber that means this point see this line come to here so that means uh, so this level is below the nozzle tip so that means 1 or 2 mm the nozzle should be placed 1 or 2 mm above the level of the fuel in the float chamber so that this is because to eliminate the petrol to flow into the induction pipe when the engine is off that means when the engine is off at the time for example if the nozzle is placed here because of this level is more than this nozzle because the nozzle is here the fuel continuously go out even the engine is switch off so that means wastage of fuel so that means uh, to eliminate that when we have to fix the nozzle in such a way that it should be 1 or 2 mm more than the level of petrol in the float chamber that is the point and it cannot supply rich mixture when throttle open suddenly that means this is the throttle it is connected to the accelerator if i accelerate the engine suddenly it it cannot give rich mixture immediately because it serves only constant speed so that means it gives only all the time it gives only constant air fuel mixture so this is the greatest disadvantage in simple carburetor that can be overcome in the next stage of carburetor and we will see the solex carburetor in the next class thank you very much